Come on, let's find that fade rift. Did the villagers use this place for anything? ruins down here. The whole area is still lit up. Remarkable. again.
finally rest easy in Crestwood. Let's tell the mayor. Mayor's gone. Letter of confession. It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago to stop the blight from spreading. He drowned then? In the muck? Oh, Mayor is having an arrow for tea. It's monstrous, but if it stopped the blight from wiping out the entire village. What a sad mess. Will the Inquisition bring him in? Yes. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Gift Inquisitor. If only all the spirits were this easy to get rid of. Trolls have spotted Red Templars up in the hills, Inquisitor. They're studying a set of elven ruins. Why, we're not sure. I found Butcher's corpse by the south road. Red Templars ambushed me afterward. Only our highest operatives knew he was coming tonight. I must inform Sister Nightingale we have a traitor. What's happening in Crestwood? The dragon circling the lake looks hungrier than usual. Travelers on the road will be scarce until it's gone. I should be going. Another time.
Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of Fade Rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. I do enjoy these encounters. It's like we're getting to know each other. We are, aren't we? Such a shame our meetings are so brief. But, you know, saving the world and all that. Busy, busy. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? It's in the past. I care more about the future. Then let's pray something like this never happens again. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters lists itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition. And everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Fairbanks is expecting you as a camp. Watch yourself. I'd like to trust you, but we don't trust anyone these days. It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. I hope I don't disappoint. Not at all. But as they say, actions speak louder. As my missive stated, we can help each other. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the Freemen are colluding with your enemy. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the Freeman bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the Freeman and they pass. This I promise. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freeman is right here in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition.
I don't want to talk right now. Maybe later. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. You spend a lot of time around dead people. Corpses. As Navarans, we pay respect to the departed in family crypts. Pay respect? Like pose them and dress them up and such? Not in the way you're picturing. It sounds like a big dead dollhouse. Dollhouses are creepy enough. <sighs> well, now you know. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the... Do I really need to oversee even more death? I'm nearly at capacity. I share your distaste for more bloodshed, but it needn't come to that. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. You recall Gerion Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination, on your own life, no less. Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. Remind me, what's the precedent for nearly ripping apart time at the seams? I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You lose it all in the storm to come. Your judgment, Inquisitor. You swore to the mages you'd help them. I will have you uphold that promise. Fiona will take charge of you. Any knowledge, favor, or coin you own will go toward the mage's future. A headsman would have been kinder. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Theras requires. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. I'm more concerned about reinforcing Skyhold in case Corypheus attacks again. I've had difficulty forgetting his assault on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. 
I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. Visitor, welcome to the Western Approach. We've cited warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Are you worried about me? Someone has to be. And try not to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. Dispatch for you. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Some shit's getting an ass full of arrows. Junk, please ship to some tit. Signed, rubbish. What happened here? None of these poor sods had knives or shit. Who'd do this? Chantry symbol out here. Odd.
tell me we won't be fighting that creature. You know, you shouldn't make fun of people being scared of magic just because you can scare them back. I take it you think I'm frightening. Not naked. You're well fit. But all armored up and fierce. What do you think some stable boy sees? A seeker on the side of righteousness. Here's what I learned in the alleys. Ah, mages. Ah, Templar. Hunters. Ah, hungry. When you're little, everything is... Ah! I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Find it just as I showed you.
Inquisitor! What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? It looks like you've already done some of my work for me. What, him? We simply needed his blood. Oh, were you hoping to garner sympathy? Maybe make the Wardens feel... Wardens, hands up! Hands down! Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarel full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Ah, I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Release the Wardens from the binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No. You won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... to reason you were correct through their ritual the mages are slaves to Corypheus and the warden warriors of course sacrificed in the ritual Eremond lied to the wardens they were trying to prevent future blights with blood magic and human sacrifice the wardens were wrong but they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. <laughs> 